Good morning and welcome to Rapi Dawn. As you can see, it's Children's Day and uh, we are definitely in the mood of Children's Day. We are so happy to join millions of children all over the world to celebrate and mark this very day. It's Rapi Dawn. My name is Cynthia Agbo and of course I have Ugo Chuku here. How are you doing? I'm very well. Happy Children's Day to you. I am a child, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I am someone's child, yes, I mean, that's, exactly. um, I mean it, it does bring back a lot of beautiful memories, <laughs> doesn't it? Absolutely, absolutely, it's, it's so good to, you know, um, feel, I mean, adulthood has come, <laughs> I mean, they just, they convince you to grow up, you know? No, you wanted to grow up, you felt like you would enjoy being an adult well it's nature if you ask me you you are not supposed to remain small every time i mean all the days of your life I mean, so it's how we, we, we looked we looked forward to the you know that moment when you're a kid and then you mm -hmm. want to do something your, your your dad tells you oh no that's not good for you mom tells you that one is not good for you. you and grow. in your mind you are like I know what is good for me. So eventually you get to that point where you can make your own decisions, your own choices. And then you realize that. Ugh, wow. I my parents have... my parents were right all along, you know. <laughs> most of these things are not easy decisions to make. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I mean, you are a child. I would say that don't be in a hurry to grow up. I mean, enjoy yourself. But anyway, while you're still a child, while you're still under the tutelage of your parents even though you never outgrow that in as such as you have your parents you will always be under them but at some point you have to be an adult and have to do adult stuff but i'm talking to those people who are still under the dictates of the parents like they don't have a choice legally <laughs> and naturally you don't have <laughs> you're still under your your mommy and daddy today is your day and yeah, absolutely. Um, we'll, we'll try as much as possible on the show to make it a special special one for you uh i mean our, our programs are going to be our segments are going to be the same but it's going to have a bit of spice to it something that would pleasure you that would yeah, suit you absolutely and so we'll delve into health and wellness this morning and on health and wellness i do realize that a lot of kids young kids have a problem brushing their teeth and um it's a struggle oh junior you have to brush your teeth in the morning <laughs> and junior just goes to the bathroom and then he's doing like this and doing like that so this morning on health and wellness we'll be doing something about brushing your teeth check this out All right, welcome back. That was glorious, absolutely glorious, even in the rendition. I always love um, whenever our Children's Day falls on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And besides, the kids in church they had this beautiful performance. Mm -hmm. I mean, because Children's Day is Monday, so they had to do all they had to do on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It was, I mean, it was beautiful. I, mean, I, I, I think that cuts across almost all the most of the denominations actually. I, I think I think every every yeah. every worship center does that. We have that. this amazing kids in my church do some beautiful stuff as well. Mm. You, you, usually, I, I don't know why the things have changed, but before um, on Children's Day like that in our religious houses, you see you have a kid pastor for the day, you have a kid <laughs> um, 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 assistant pastor for the day, yeah. you have a kid choir director for Praise the day. Praise leader. You have a, every, so you just have the seniors there to guide them. Yeah, to but everything is going to be, in fact, even down to the announcements, yes. it's usually a child that will yeah, come do the announcement. It's usually beautiful. But, but, but what are some of the memories you have from Children's Day celebrations, the ones that are not Sunday? Uh, <laughs> that would be a difficult one. But as an adult? No, as a kid. I mean, did you ever get to participate in a match past? Uh, <laughs> I mean, those are the things that we it's did as uh, as as kids. You know, you go to the stadium. There's plenty of other children there, mm. and uh, it's usually the governor. I, 
I usually salute the, uh, what's it called now? The resilience of the governors that on those <laughs> days, because you get to stand until yes. all the schools will march past you. And you in know. solidarity. Yeah, <laughs> they come and then they salute you and then they pass. Of course, at the end of the day, they usually announce the winning schools. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to remember now if my school was actually one of the una top no, schools at no the time. Well. <laughs> you know, and then after the march passed, uh, there's usually this uh, ice cream things they sell in like uh, in, in bicycles, yeah. So your 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 mom usually gives you like plenty money on that day, and then you just spend the spend the money. Uh -uh. You know, you're like a little Obi Kubana. Oh my god! <laughs> well, Children's Day for me, ah, that's a tough one really a really tough okay question. okay a, a simpler one simpler one what are some of the nursery rhymes you remember wow come um, on you were once a kid i was <laughs> don't put me on this space <laughs> really um, I'm, i'll give you one okay twinkle little star that's very recent no i mean that's that's like that's like really ancient, if you ask me. Twinkle Little Star. I mean, that's. Oh, okay. What's your version of Twinkle Little Star? <laughs> I want to hear it now because I uh, there's a version that we had in my school in the uh, Rumokoro uh, uh, Community School. Oh, know, which one? <laughs> what was your version? Let me hear. I need to hear yours first before I tell you mine. My own is not community version. Oh, so let me hear oh, you. Which one do you know? <laughs> How do they even sing it again? No way. Twinkle Little Star is the simplest of all nursery rhymes. Not as simple as you're thinking. Come on. Don't do me oh dirty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you're making me feel like you 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 skipped, you know, being a kid and just came out as an adult. Uh, maybe. Maybe I grew up so too, you didn't too remember fast. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder. How I wonder what you are. No, sing it the way they sing it. Up above. You recited the words so high. No, it's, yeah, like it's a poem, a but you can also sing it. Uh, maybe I'm more familiar twinkle, with the poem twinkle, twinkle, than the song. Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above. That's the, the song. Words. Yeah. And I'm giving is you it, the, I'm giving you the poem. It, it's the same thing. I'm more familiar with the poem. Okay, guess what? This, this version from my school. Uh, okay, let's hear it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. <laughs> How I wonder what you are <laughs> up above the water so high, like a diamond in the sky. Mm. Yeah, something like that. That's a good one. I mean, I remember there were lots of songs that were actually modeled up. Hmm. But did you ever uh, sing the song uh, "Standard Living"? I'm a soldier in my country. Everybody knows me well. If you look at me up and down, you know that it's true. Standard living, standard living, standard living, standard living. Okay, but that's not what we sang. What? Standard lily, standard lily. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Before you, before you confuse the children, don't sing that one. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you start hearing standard lily, standard lily, standard lily. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and you know the funniest part is yeah. there are lots of kids that grew up adults rather mm -hmm. that grew up thinking that it was Sandra Lily. Yes. So it is when they become adults, they're like, oh, it's not Sandra Lily, it's Sandra Lily. Oh, there's another one. Janglova Opimoto. That's what we used to say. <laughs> but that's not what it is. That's no that's not what it is. You see why it's good to work hard. <laughs> <laughs> like you always say, the problem is is money. The solution is is money. Let's move to the Hustle runway. So you can let's... send your children to good schools. <laughs> 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 All right, let's check out what we have for you on kids fashion this beautiful morning. I mean, the kids are making magic on the runway, not only adults, and that this, this makes me to want to say that. Um, as a parent, if you notice your child have love for fashion or football or painting or whatever it is, try as much as possible to encourage them. Mm -hmm. And the more you, you take them by the hand 
uh, from small, they will grow through it. And that career of theirs will bring in so much money for you. Mm. Imagine, imagine the, the mother but of first, Ronaldo. Fulfillment how she for them. Yes. Fulfillment for them. I mean, just imagine the new the new crop of my you fans, children that are growing up, how they are going to play. Why do you have to use my So let's go to the runway right about <laughs> now. <laughs> All right, welcome back. I mean, those kids certainly know how to walk it work it excellent talent work there work it excellent talent and <laughs> okay so in as much as it's children's day it's also normal and good for us to give you some of the big stories on our national daily just uh, just a few okay it's always good for you to keep yourself informed and abreast with what is happening in the society so mm. let's start off with the guardian this morning, firms, Jenko's in fresh crisis over eligible customer policy review. Um, firms, Jenko's in fresh crisis over eligible customer policy review. And uh, we have uh, council autonomy, uh, Supreme Court fixes May 30 to hear federal government suit against state governments and Emirate Tassel Protest rocks Kano as government considers curfew to curtail the violence. And we have Tinubu promises compensation on coastal highway. Some of the stories that are there on uh, the front page of The Guardian. Moving on. Daily Sun is up next. Mosque collapse, three dead, many trapped in rubble. State of nation, $500 billion FDI lost, industrial zones drying up, economy tanking experts warn uh sounds like music to our ears now <laughs> federal government drags uh, governors to supreme court over local government autonomy and uh, those are the major stories on daily sun this monday morning and moving on to punch uh coastal highway will boost 30 million businesses this is coming from the president President says project will foster trade, tourism, seeks counterpart funding. Tunubu insists landowners will get compensation. 700 kilometer highway symbol of unity. You can see a beautiful picture right there of uh, Tony Lumelu and some uh, and some other big names. And, uh, <laughs> and um, I wonder what's so funny. Uh, when big men are laughing, just don't worry about it. <laughs> it is the little things <laughs> or maybe it is money you, you can't get the joke because apparently you can't afford it uh, oh my god <laughs> minor killed others injured as excavator hit lagos mocks this is so sad i mean it's children's day uh, this is not the kind of story we should be hearing about a child outrage over brutal murder of or your private varsity student that was someone's child as well Gunmen abduct Ondo travelers for others escape. Uh, we just hope that uh, they have a safe return. And um, uh, we see that the Navy is to unveil three ships, two helicopters on May 30. These are some of the stories you will find on the Punch newspaper this beautiful morning. Let's take another one. This day is up next. Ribadu to Kano Deputy Governor. Retract your defamatory statement of face legal action. Nothing uh, ruling council seeks restraints. Beachy Emirates thanks security agencies and judiciary. Tinubu, today is my day to boast. The deal is done. The dream is realizable. Flags of Lagos Calabar Coastal Highway. Federal government directs sections three and four of highway to start from Aquaibum and Cross River. Virtually uh, Commission's design procurement for 1,000 kilometers Sokoto Badagri Highway, 461 kilometers Enugu Abakaliki Ogoja Road, reconstruction of 330 roads, bridge across geopolitical zones. Well, now you understand why the president says today is his day to boast. Uh, that's all we can take from this day newspaper. Let's do two more 
and then uh, we'll call it a wrap on the uh, paper review this morning. Uh, independent, Tinubu one year in office, airline industry nose dives, passenger traffic drops amid high fares. Experts say jet A1 price increased from 790 to 1005 per liter. Ask federal government to reverse policies, hotting growth of aviation sector. And uh, we see some other stories there. First anniversary, Serap asks Tinubu to publish his assets. Is that really... Is that really what we should be asking about? The president's asset um, or what what he has achieved? I mean, his assets is... When they say asset, what are they referring to? Are they, I mean, there's always been a clamor for asset declaration for public office holders. But like you said, I don't think that should be top the, right on now, when priority it, 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 list at in, the moment. A man like President Bola Metinobu, his assets, if you, if you talk about his personal assets, hmm. um, that cannot be disputed. And I don't, I don't think that this is a time where it can be rated based on um if they are trying to tie it to his time in office and what has if 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 they are insinuating certain things i think it's too early for that but then again <laughs> there are other issues of national importance that we should be worried about like what 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 can he really point out to say he has achieved in one year mm -hmm. i mean despite all of the going around the country campaigning what can he really say he has done in one year? You can't say we are still trying, trying, trying in one year. What so, exactly has so, he done? So rather than say, year, Mr. President, publish your assets, your assets. why not? Uh, what's your scorecard? Exactly. You know, uh, tell us the things that we can actually hold Go on and verify to. Yes, and say yes. this is what you've done. Hmm. Let's take one spot before we uh, move on. Let's take one spot this morning. I, I know why you're insistent on <laughs> No, uh, I mean Lukman Boniface battle uh Aboma Yang and Kudus for Europa League Award. Osiman makes Sira our team of the season. Frustrated fans alter Messi chefs in Canada. Oof. Uh we we'll have uh, Burnley add Zihana Cho to transfer wish list. We we'll have Real Madrid to announce Mbappe arrival. De Bruyne rejects offers from Saudi Arabia. Transospor desperate to return uh red hot on Chu Aribo gets uh seven over ten rating uh Saul Tempton seals promotion and uh the story that Cynthia was looking forward to is obviously not on the front page of what Wait, what's the mic I think I'm looking for this morning um I've had to endure some <clears throat> recurrent banter and tantrum from from who uh, and it's while a uh, silent United fan, but who simply because football is what it is. Um, <laughs> now the voiceless have found their wow, body. wow. You remember you stood on this very no. set, okay? No, not this very set, on the other set, <laughs> <laughs> and you said that I mean, after Man City, you know won the uh premier league right mm -hmm. good after man city won the premier league you sat on that old set mm -hmm. mm, the pre previous set and you said in your words that you do not see the possibility of a manchester united beating man city i was not the one that i was not the only one who envisaged that outcome if you had a lot if of you sports, had put your money where your mouth you have been, you have been a <laughs> millionaire well, by now luckily luckily for me i don't wager you know on things like that oh really football is unpredictable no you don't think but then so again, i but, always but, tell but you but that football is but then again there are things that we know that are like you know constants which yeah. is things like a, a manchester city winning a trophy we things never, like no, no, a man no, no. city winning a manchester united but then again mm -hmm. there was a slim chance what was the slim chance it was actually uh what now 0 0.5 out of 10. are you aware that one are out you, of are, 10 are you aware that for, man you already had two for, goals for Manchester Before Man City was able to score one. Are you aware? Yeah, most um well actually 
it, it was just a bad day as, for Man City. As, as a Man U fan, I it will was tell just, you... It was just a bad day in the office. No, no, no. As a Man U fan... Some days you win, some days you lose. Wait. As a Man U fan, I can tell you authoritatively that this that the match that was played on Saturday mm -hmm. at Wembley mm -hmm. is the best match that Man U have yeah. ever played. I, now, and I can imagine saying, you would say that. No, but you let know, me, because let me, no, let Man City was not on their best on no, the day. No, no, no. We're not, not on their best. That. No, not because of that. Hmm. Now, all the players at on the pitch that day, they played like they really wanted to play. That is the hmm. Man U that we know. Let me tell you what happened. It was not so because they, they were not good. Apparently, you know, Man City won the premier league uh -huh. now what happened was that they went off to celebrate and you know how these things get there's a letter for one you know, week right it, it's not easy to win the premier league now you know, do you drinking do you, do you also partying know? do you also and i think know? they just lost focus do you also you know, know that briefly. man city mm -hmm. do you also know that man city were hoping that they would easily i mean the man you that you've been seeing mm. you know playing shabbily i will let me use that word you know <laughs> playing as if they don't care if we are happy or not do you understand yeah man city just envy that okay this is this is man you it's not no, i mean we've got I, to the premier I, league i, I wouldn't so share the sentiment problem. that man city underrated manchester united i won't if, call it underrating if, i would if, call if, it it was just a case of i would call it negligence they were they were just overtaken with the celebration no it wasn't and about forgot celebration that they had an important do you know well, it's not important I mean, because they, they they've had far too many trophies in the last couple of years so i think they were just trying to do their um neighbors a favor it's a lie Man, Anyways, Man, Man U congratulations gotten, congratulations Man, this is the 13 I'm, fa cup of i'm going Man U. i'm going to be magnanimous congratulations to um manchester united I am happy for you guys, but trust me, um, you know, courtesy of that, you guys are going to be playing in the Europa League next of season. Of course, we will be playing. Um, it's sad. And I don't know it's, what place Chelsea and Arsenal have. It's it's sad. Of course, Arsenal is going to be playing in the Champions League. Arsenal is far better, you know. Uh, are they really? They didn't win anything. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't win anything. Nah, Chelsea didn't win anything. So, uh, at least that's one good thing. So, if we're going to... How is uh, it good that, that Arsenal did not win anything? I, don't, I mean, for Man U that they won a trophy. So if there was some oh. sort of uh, demarcation now, oh, everybody that won a trophy, come out. <laughs> of course, you know, Manchester United is going to come out. Man City is going to come out. Madrid is going to yeah. come out. You know, Bayer Leverkusen is going to You're come, gonna come out. out. <laughs> Every other person is just going to. Was it Leverkusen or Atalanta? Atlanta also won. Leverkusen, of course, they won the Bundesliga in Germany. Oh, yes. And they yes. also won the cup final over the weekend. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we, we have the winners and then we have the... We came close, but we couldn't do it. I be... Uh, mm, had the color. <laughs> anyway, we're going to... <laughs> I'm going to step aside, let him do his sports. But yeah. while we step aside, um, I think it's time for us to listen to our second hit song. Now, just in case your child wants to be a a sports person, a mm -hmm. footballer. This is a good time for you to trust in the process because there is money. You see that <laughs> money that you, are, that you want your child to have? That money is inside sports. That money is inside football specifically. Just see, take that to sports, the bank and you get paid. That, I, was, I was showing you a, a, a video of, uh, was it uh, Rebecca now when she arrived for the French Open? Did you see the ride that she came down from? Was that, a million oh! dollar cup, you know. So I mean, you you, you 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 can't you can't afford that doing some of the regular professions that people do, yeah. But sports, it does open a wide vista of opportunities for you. Doesn't absolutely, it? Mm. absolutely. Anyway, we're, we're gonna go on a, a, a this music break, and when you, when we come back, you're going to be seeing Ugo Chuku, um alone, you know, doing his sports things. Uh, this particular. Uh, this is our music break one actually. We skipped the one I went to two the last time. So this is our music break one. <laughs> My name is also My name is
Well, Monday morning, thank you so much for joining us on Rapid Sports this morning. Well, there's quite a lot on the front burner. Bayer Leverkusen, yes, they've won the German Cup final. Manchester United doing the unthinkable to win and wrestle the FA Cup trophy away from Manchester City at Wembley. And of course, the Nigeria Premier Football League is back, bigger and better. And guess who is also back on the show with a bang? It's no other than, of course, the winning John the undefeated John, the, I mean, everything, everything nice and good. And guess what? Um, Aqua United, and I'm thinking this is the major reason why John is back on the show. Because, <laughs> I mean, I don't know how they did it against almighty lobby stars of Makadi going away from home to get a resounding victory against the Makadi base side. It's absolutely unprecedented. And so, um, John, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. That's why I was away. We <laughs> stakeholders of the team. We needed. We needed to do what uh, what had to be done. Um, yeah, he went back to the drawing board. Oh no, 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 no! The drawing board is full. We, you see, um, where we are right now is beyond the drawing board. It's mm. about uh, you know getting on um, brass tacks, getting on the ground, getting dirty, getting the job done. And um, the boys now recognize the fact that. Um, um, it, it's not business as usual. Mm. It's not business as usual. And uh, congratulations to um, um, all red fans, Cynthia. Yeah, uh, Manchester United. So, so um, funny enough, um, her friend, my wife, is also a Manchester United fan. Uh, so uh, Manchester is uh, red. Um, oh so, my goodness! Uh, how do you feel? How do I feel? I yeah. feel good. No, hold on, hold on. How do you feel realizing that at the end of the season, mm -hmm. Chelsea didn't win a trophy? They didn't. I mean, and um, um, most Chelsea fans took solace in Manchester City um, mm. grabbing maybe a double um, at the end of the season and um, only for um, the tables to turn. Well, um, lucky for me, I've never cared much for Chelsea. Um, I was paying attention to... You know, the MPFL and my team. Yes, Ayimba. Ayimba. Yeah, the Blues. No, so now you know where I, I'm, I'm So correct. whenever I refer to being a, a Blues person, I was actually talking about Ayimba. I have your file, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone. Let's kick start this morning with the Nigeria Premier Football League. Enugu Rangers, they are definitely on to something this season. They maintain their top spot. In the Nigeria Premier Football League with a resounding 3-0 win against Baza United at the Nam Diazigwe Stadium right there on Sunday. Gordon Abaje with a brace, uh, scoring the first in the 41st minute. And then the second in the 66 minutes, Kwachi Edozi Okore uh, did at the third two minutes later. Uh, well, the win ensured that the seven-time uh, champions maintain their four-point lead ahead of reigning champions, Aimba and Remo Stars. You know, Mwaha, well... It was an red toe derby between neighbors. Uh, Bernardo Voke scored a 72nd minute winner for Imba as they beat local rivals. Abia Warriors 1 0 to keep the pressure on Rangers. You should have a clips of that goal for you. Uh, Remo Stars, however, dropped from the second to third after suffering a 3 2 defeat against uh, Quara United in, law in Loring. Uh, three SC are also seven points adrift of leaders Rangers thanks to a thrilling 2-2 draw away from home against Castina United at the Mohamed Diko Stadium. And of course, uh, it's also a fight to finish uh, in the drop zone. Sunshine Stars moved out of the relegation zone despite being held to a goalless draw by Ben Dell Insurance in Akure just as Aqua United uh, produced quite a masterclass, uh, a priceless 2-1 win away at Lobby Stars to move to 15th, although both sides are just a goal difference above uh, the drop. Well, Doma United, who are high flyers in the first half of the campaign, now find themselves uh, languishing in the relegation zone after a 2-1 loss against Canopilas. Hatland also beat Gombe United 3 0 in Oweri, but of course, both clubs are still rooted to 19th and 20th with uh, 32 points and 25 points, respectively. So, uh, of course, after Rivers United had prosecuted all of their outstanding games, you're now back to business as usual yeah. uh, for the MPFL. Rangers with a resounding win. Aimba winning away from home. And of course, Remo Stars 4 3 against Korai United is definitely getting interested in that race for the top title. Uh, well, um, I, I did say, if you remember, um, some weeks back, that um, it's going to go down to the wires as far as the MPFL is concerned. I'm particularly excited at the 
form uh, uh, the people, uh, the uh, will I call them the people's antelope have um, displayed talking the flying about antelopes. the flying antelopes. I beg your pardon, have um, displayed talking about Rangers uh, United, and um, uh, it, 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 I think it was about three or four seasons ago we saw them, you know, exhibit this kind of form. I was uh, discussing with a friend yesterday when we were talking about the MPFL, and I said um, uh, you could liken Rangers to be the Liverpool mm -hmm. of um, the Nigerian. Uh, the MPFL and um, uh, they've shown fantastic form but the question is um, yes despite the goals difference uh, will it be a um, will will they be runaway champions uh, so to say at the end of it because the likes of Rivers United uh, Lobby Stars are still very much in the race and are still gone in uh, I remember Dominic Yofa saying that um, uh, uh, as far as this season is concerned that Lobby Stars will give it everything they've got mm -hmm. till the very last whistle so um uh for anybody who's not been following the mpfl boy you've missed a whole lot uh, especially entering the closing stages of the league i mean it's five become, more games to go now yeah it's becoming explosive and then you know the irony uh for the first time in the history of nigerian football uh the mpfl is in the closing stages the nnl is also going into explosive action mm -hmm. the super uh, presidential cup mm -hmm. is ongoing uh the super eight oh, is in the nigeria women football, football league, just, league just ended it just ended i mean exciting action for football fans uh all, all across i mean one would have um, thought you know with uh, the uh, season ending in europe you know that's not a lot of football action in to to enjoy but then that's not really really true that's of course uh the goal Again, that was scored by yeah. bernard ovoke uh, right there in umwa here to give a victory and we also failed to mention that rivers united uh did get a 4-1 win against sporting lagos in port Harcourt. and you were talking about the nwfl where a Doe Queens on Sunday emerged champions of the Nigeria Women's Football League after a 1 1 stalemate with host Bielsa Queens and an explosive match uh, played at the Samson Siasia Stadium, Yenegua, in uh, the final game of the 2023 2024 NW, uh, NWFL Super 6 tournament. And of course, uh, we also have uh, the uh, table standings for that particular one, talking about the NW. FL, where um, it, it was actually beautiful to see uh, Edo Queens, you know, actually emerge uh, victorious in that particular one, wasn't it? Well, I must give uh, kudos to the wife of the Edo State Governor, mm -hmm. uh, who has been uh, a strong supporter of um, uh, uh, the Edo Queens ever since her husband uh, got into office. And um, I think that has counted for uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, will I say the explosive nature we've seen mm. the Edo Queens uh, display as far as this season is concerned in the uh, NWFL. Uh, but I'm not surprised at Rivers Angels. They've been uh, uh, Rivers Angels, Bielsa Queens. I mean, uh, look, look um, at the margin there. Edo Queens winning by just one, one point, point behind Rivers and Bielsa. And what is also say about uh, most of the uh, uh, teams in that South South region? Uh, you could see. Um, that dominance in the top no, three. No, that's why I said I'm not surprised table. because Rivers Angels, Bayelsa Queens mm. have been one the two most consistent female football teams mm -hmm. uh, as far as the NWFL has concerned. Uh, I um, Edo Queens got rejuvenated with the support they've they've gotten from the wife of the uh, of the of the state governor. Mm -hmm. Heartland Queens, on the other hand, um, I mean they like their male counterparts. Mm -hmm. They've been in topsy turvy waters, but it's good to see that at the end of the season, coming fifth with them. Um, uh, 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 I mean, uh, they failed to win a game. Uh, well, um, sadly, sadly, uh, like I said, um, Heartland Queens and um, uh, their, their male counterparts, it's been topsy turvy for them. Mm -hmm. I think finally they are beginning to get that stability that they've sorted for so long a time. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been a lot of changes as far as Heartland is concerned and as far as the Emo State FA is concerned. So I think finally um i think all it needed was for governor hope was on the to secure his second term and really now sit down to the subject of getting things done in the manner he uh, that it should be done and i think the fallout of that is what we have seen yeah. with heartland queens coming fifth on the log and of course even heartland uh, uh the, the heartland football club uh, also doing 
fantastically, not fantastically <laughs> as in fantastic, but fantastically, you know, as far as uh, uh, the MPFL is concerned. All right, let, let's talk about something that uh, gives a lot of Nigerians worry. Um, in the past, um, cadet competitions on the 17, on the 20 used to be our strong points. Mm. We, um, we were a formidable force in this uh, particular CADA, you know, the youth competitions. But uh, in the last couple of years, it's not really gone our way. We missed out on the last uh, under-17 World Cup and it does look like we will not be there. Now, there is a very small window that could allow us to participate because CAP has been undecided about how many African teams will, of course, be representing Africa at the uh, FIFA under-17 World World Cup. Well, of course, you know uh, the story over the weekend how uh, we lost out uh, in the semi-finals against Cote d'Ivoire, yeah. uh, you know, in that uh, Wafu B tournament. And now we have the third-placed match where we're going to be up against Burkina Faso, which does provide a little window of opportunity, which nobody is certain about. But then again, where did we get it wrong? Remember, Manu Garaba was given this job just a month before the tournament. Well, um, that's another thing, the timing. Um, I, 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 I've said it before and I maintain that as far as the NFF is concerned, I have thought that um, that trajectory will change under the leadership of um, Ibrahim Gusso. Uh, but sadly, it, it seems it, ha he, it, it hasn't. In fact, it has dipped even more. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the need to be able to give more attention to the cadet or CADA uh, 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 age group um, uh, national teams um, but sadly um, the result of untimely planning uh, or you know waiting till uh, how do I say uh, fire brigade approach uh -huh. uh, which is typical for the way we always run our football uh, has I mean what do you expect you 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 give you assign a coach in less than one month he has just barely a month uh, to assemble a team uh, uh, to prepare for a major tournament there's no magic about that you can't expect uh, uh, that he's going to uh, deliver the goods you know the assumption has always been even with our senior national team, is that all we need to do is gather our players together uh -huh. and they will come and deliver the goods. But no, that's not necessarily uh, um, uh, what delivers the result. There is a need for essential planning. Uh -huh. There is need for uh, there to be a timeline and deadline uh, to ensure that the, the right coach is, is gotten for the job. The team is or the proper team is assembled and that team is given enough time to bond and, you know, come up with a playing formula that would, dis, uh, that would um, deliver the kind of results we've seen. Uh, but sadly, now, the flip side is this. I go back to the days of uh, Kashimao Laloko, um, who has always been the proponent of um, youth football uh -huh. and, and academy football. The fact that there is no deliberacy on the part of the NFF to ensure that there is a consistent supply line. Mm. And that starts as far back as the under 11, mm -hmm. um, under 13, because that one, when you do that, when you put in place both structures and systems that ensure that you continue to chunk out the best legs, mm. especially from the age group, you know, uh, tournament, you will be sure that by the time they mature, by the time they are 17, 18, mm. 18, maybe even 20, 21, you, are sh you can already tell where the trajectory or the, the future mm. of your senior national but team. But you know, there are pe some people with the insinuation that, oh, because now, because CAF is being strict about, um, you know, the actual age of those who get to represent national teams at this youth competitions, that it's become a bit hard for Nigeria. Give you a quick instance. 2009. We had a young man of the name Christantus Macaulay, uh, I believe, you know, uh, when, of course, we hosted, you know, the uh, under 17 or was it under 20 World Cup here. A play, uh, one of the, the, the lads who was also uh, in that particular was Tony Cruz of Germany. Now, guess what? Almost 20 years later, Tony Cruz just retired, you know just uh, this over the weekend yes but you ask yourself where is christantus macaulay where did he go to i mean because he had a lot of talent scored the highest number of goals in that particular tournament and i mean could it could it could there be some truth in that that oh because uh, now we're actually getting the real under 17 so we're not really um 
finding our feet again in this competition. No, but that that has always been the bane of uh, age grade football for Nigeria and Africa. The fact that we have always been a cheats. Um, we don't bring we don't we don't um, field uh, players with the correct age, mm -hmm. and um, over time we we have suffered as a result of that. Um, uh, so now there has to be deliberacy. I underline the word deliberacy on the part of the NFF to focus on developmental football, and developmental football has to do with age grade football. What are we doing um, under this administration? Where is our under 13? Mm. Where is our under 17? Where is our under 21? So if we don't begin to ask those questions, uh, because there's so much focus on the super eagles, so much focus on the uh, uh, super falcons, but we forget that if there is no deliberacy on the part of the NFF to invest in developmental football, mm. which will rub up on our uh, eight great teams. I, I mean, it, it was as if we had a cheat for it, and now that the cheat has casted in court, so now we're finding it difficult, you know, to, to yes, actually do we, well in this competition. There is a department in the NFF that is, who, that is saddled with the responsibility of ensuring that our age great teams, you know, have. Uh, the right coach and um, uh, the proper system is put in place to select the best players and the best legs. There was a time in this country where uh, coaches were being accused of uh, collecting money um, just to field players. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You, you understand? But I, I wouldn't blame the coaches because, I mean, if you have put the right systems in place and you, you, you call for uh, under-17 players uh, to show up, I can bet you I mean, it, will, it it's going to be a process that will probably, you tell yourself, it's going to be a one-month process and you you scout the length and breadth of Nigeria. You will find fantastic players. The problem with the average African player is discipline. Mm. They lack discipline. Uh, I mean, back in the day, uh, I remember uh, a number of Nigerian players uh, they were at a point in time who went to Europe and really didn't succeed. And the question was, why? It's very simple. The African player is, is talented, is uh -huh. skillful, uh -huh. but lacks basic discipline. i give you an example. David Beckham was not a fantastic player, uh -huh. but he understood the discipline of the sport and he focused on developing we, we, uh, 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 the rudiments that he was taught as a as a very young player and over time he, he discovered that look i could kick the ball in a particular manner mm -hmm. and he kept practicing because practice comes as a result of discipline mm. and to and today you have a book called bend it like beckham yeah you understand until tomorrow the uh, three lions manchester united uh, still don't have somebody who can bend the ball the way Beckham <laughs> did it. You uh, luckily for them, they've got uh, Jude Bellingham and Phil Foden all growing in their ranks. You know, hopefully they'll be able to step up to the big party. Uh, well, there's still a lot to talk about. Remember, uh, Roland Garros started over the weekend. Andy Murray has been knocked out by uh, is it, uh, Dominic TM now. Uh, we have Carlos Alcaraz back. Remember, he was uh, absent at the uh, Italian Open, the Foro Italico, and uh, now he's back with a bang set it up with a win yesterday rafael nadal play alexander zverev that is one of the toughest first round matches you'd ever see in a grand slam and watch out for that one it's happening later on this morning actually uh novak Djokovic also supposed to play later on today as well when we come tomorrow we'll give you all of the results and so much more uh like we started off earlier by saying congratulations to manchester united uh for winning the fa cup of course now they get to play in the europa league and chelsea play in the europa conference league uh Ale won the African Champions League. Congratulations to them. Bayer Leverkusen won the Kaiser Slaten. That's a German Cup final uh, uh, right there in Germany. Congratulations to them and Victor Boniface. And of course, we saw the La Liga coming to an end yesterday. And uh, well, most of the leagues have actually um, wrapped up for the season. Thank you so much for being there. And uh, well, uh, coming up next is Eastern Seckle on uh, today's edition. It's actually a very special one. The Children's Day edition of uh, The Breakfast Show. Do stay with us.
All right, welcome. It's still Rappy Dawn, and I I really don't have to do so much introduction because mm -hmm. you can already see it's Children's Day, and uh, most definitely we have beautiful children in the studio with us this morning, and they are they are going to be joining us after the other after the other. So we have here with me Michael. Mm -hmm. Michael, say hello to your fans. Hello. Uh, you say hello, my fans. Hello, my fans. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Iman. Okay, say hello to your fans. Hello, fans. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Iman is from Sheffield, right? Yes. Yeah, Sheffield School. Yeah. And uh, she is one beautiful girl. Why uh, Michael is from Charge International School. Okay. Uh, what class are you? Year six. Okay, oh, yeah. yes, six. Nice. All right, how about you? I'm in primary three. Okay, just a bit different. All right, so let's now. I mean, we are all kids. I mean, I'm also a child. Okay, I'm also okay. a child. Uh, but I'm not a child like you or like you. But I wish I could be like you, you know. You know that, right? Yes. yes. Why? How did you know that? Because every single once in a while, a parent wants to go back to their childhood oh wow okay <laughs> <laughs> let me hide my face <laughs> uh, but how did you know that has your dad ever told you something like that no so how did you know i just know oh wow wow interesting Iman. yes tell me who is a child you <laughs> <laughs> Child. <laughs> I think that because right now you th you wish that you're a child right now. Mm. So once I wish it, I can be it. Not really. Because you've grown already. Do you want to grow? I really want to grow because I want to be a medical doctor. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> Why do you want to be a medical <laughs> doctor? Because I like medicine. You like medicine? You yes. like taking medicine? Not like that. Yeah. I mean treating people. Oh, okay. It seems you don't share the same opinion, Michael. What do you want to be? I've not decided yet. No hurry, uh -uh. bro. No hurry. No hurry at all. But there must be something that you like. A profession that when you see you're really excited. <laughs> I see you with a camel. Yes. Do so you, you, you want to be... be a force man? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but what is that thing that you know gets you excited and gets you interested? Apart from your favorite game, by the way, <laughs> football. Ah, football. that's my man right there. So tell me, tell me, who's your favorite football star? My favorite football star is Raheem Sterling. Wow. That plays for Chelsea, but my favorite club is Arsenal. Arsenal. Uh -uh. Your favorite football player plays for Chelsea, <laughs> but your favorite football club is Arsenal. <laughs> I mean, he's free to like what he likes. Come on. Uh, so why do you like Sterling? Because of how he runs, and how he dribbles, and how he shoots. Can you mimic how he runs? Uh, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That, that is actually how Raheem Sterling runs. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have thought that that was the duck walk. No, <laughs> no, 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 that's actually right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so we, so we actually have a, a footballer that works like that, mm -hmm. and you never told me. No, that's how he runs. That's not how. He, I mean, th that yeah, runs like yeah, that when he's with the ball. That's how he like that. Why do men keep secrets? He has never told me that there was a. A footballer that runs like that. And every day we're here talking about sports. <laughs> is that fair? No. But then fair. again, who is the greatest football player of all time? Mm. Ronaldo. Ooh. Or Haaland. Or oh, Haaland. Because he won the FIFA World Cup. Oh. Is who, who won the I FIFA World Cup? I mean, that was Barcelona. So... He won the league work, so he won the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Like maybe it's one week ago, or this, or maybe this, or maybe this, this yeah. weekend. Yes. Oh, great. So, do you agree with her, Ronaldo? No. Messi. Yes. Ah, 
Wow, that's a messy guy right there. I have, I actually have, I'm also a messy fan. Mm -hmm. Exactly, we are free to be fans of many people. Don't mind them. We can be fans of Messi, Ronaldo, Didier Ocha. <laughs> 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 Anybody, we are free. Yeah. My, my, at home, everyone in my family plays for Man City except for my dad. He's Chelsea. I like your dad. Chelsea. Hmm. So <laughs> you told us you want to be a medical doctor. Yes. So um, does that mean sciences are your favorite subjects? Yes. And I also like music. Ooh. Ooh. Tell me, what genre what, of music? What kind of music? Any, any type of music. Jazz? Yes. Classic. Yes. Afro. Hip hop. Oh. Mm. Let's hip it up. Mm. Ah. Mm. <laughs> ah. Mm. Hey yo. Hey yo. Yes. <laughs> so, so which which song are you are you listening to right now? Which song is like your favorite song of the moment? Um, I don't know. You don't know. But you should have a favorite music music artist. One music artist that you listen to all the time. Um, you like Davido? No, no thank Hippo. you. <laughs> <laughs> she said no. I like I like it instantly. Oh no my God. Are you a Davido fan? Oh. Not that much, but I like singing his songs. But oh. not really his person. Who, who is the person for you? Marshmallow. Oh, oh, I like your taste in music. Marshmallow. Hum something for us. That should be. Continue, continue. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I think I've decided mm -hmm. whiskey kid. Whiskey? Yes. Oh. Whiskey? Yes. Wow. Wheezy? Yes. <laughs> Machala? Yes. Babala? <laughs> which of his songs? Which of his songs? Which of his songs? I don't really know much of his songs. But you just like him? Yes. Oh. Whiskey FC, uh, okay. Chop Naku. Okay. Ta! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we are, we've left you alone. Whiskey. Oh, that's my man right there. Marshmallow. He likes Raheem Sterling, so that's my with man. a dog run. <laughs> 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 anyway, we're still having a great time here with Michael and Iman. Iman. Mm. Iman, where are you from? Ashu. Ashu. Okay, I wanted to ask you something. You want to say something? No. But my dad said we're also from Iwo. Iwo? Yes. Iwo, that's where? Maybe it's in Osho. Ah, okay. okay. But you just know you're from Osho State. That's, that, that's, that's enough for me. So what's the capital of Osho State? Oshobu. Oshobu. How, how many times have you been there? I've never been there. I've only been to Oyo, right? That's my dad's hometown. Okay. And you don't want to go to Oshun? I've always wanted to go there, but he said maybe later. Maybe later. Ah, that means you reached like 20 years old. What? <laughs> <laughs> you know, later, 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 before you know you're 20. <laughs> okay. Say it. She's taking it back. <laughs> okay, so before we came up, mm -hmm. I told you both to get to know yourselves. Did you guys do it? We just got to know our names and favorite games. That's all. Oh, so what's her favorite game? Mm -hmm. Don't tell him. <laughs> I forgot the name. But I know the game. Michael, is that how to be a gentleman? He doesn't know the name, but he knows the game. Mm, yeah, that's my man. That's my man right there. Did <laughs> <me. laughs> okay. this ring your bell? Did you show him? Nope. Okay, you just told yes. him. 
So you know the game, but you don't know the name. Subway Surfers? So wait, wait, Michael. So you fall in my heart. I don't I don't play that game. So what which, which <laughs> game do you play? Oh goodness me, why? Okay, so tell us, tell us his own game. What's his own game? I do not know. Oh. But he told you. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Okay, we have to go, but before we do, what's the one thing you want right now? Your your dad must be watching. So, yeah, tell us. I've always wanted to travel to America or New York. Okay, so that's your children's day wish. Mm. Yes. Right. How so about what about you, you Michael? Maybe Michael will take you. How about you? I always wanted to become a successful man in life. When I grow up, I want to become a successful man. Michael is already grown. Like, <laughs> I like the fact. I like the fact that he's not putting specifics. Oh my god! He's just saying, "I want to be a successful, a successful man. man." So whatever it is, whether it's a musician, whether it's an a a a, a, a sports person, mm -hmm. whether a businessman, whether a fossman, whatever it is, I just want to be successful. And successful you will be. We wish you all the best. <laughs> Do I get a high five? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You didn't ask her what she wanted to. She said she wants to travel. Oh, travel. Yes. You. Where's that? Our small genie box. So you just speak to it and blow it. And then um, we have we actually have a magic carpet somewhere. Wait, that's not possible because that's just friction. Friction. I mean. You're gonna see it once we get out the door. Okay. Can't you see the carpet down? It's not a flying carpet. <laughs> if it was a flying carpet, it would be flying. It would be floating in the air. Right How would now. you feel if we are floating on the show? That's because we've not said the magic word. One then minute. say it. We should say it. Yes. But we haven't. You have to the make show. me say it. You have to just do more than say it for me to say it. Okay then. Uh huh. Mm. I have an idea to prove that it's not a magic mat. Okay, let's hear it. What is it? If it was a magic mat, I, still, I think if, if we say the magic word, mm -hmm. if it flew up, it would just be flying around the room, falling and everything. No, our own is a very organized magic carpet. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like that. And if it was a magic carpet, it would be dusty. How do you see the dust? That's just like how dusty it is. Are you not seeing dust? <laughs> oh my god! That's like sprinkles of the genie, anyway. It's not exactly. That's only in cartoons, not in it's real life. It's not really life. dust. It's sprinkles of the genie. It's not in real life. You're gonna make me say the magic word, and trust me, no, we're gonna no, go up. Oh. No, don't, no, just hold yourself. It's, uh, you, uh, just self control. Oh, self control. Have self control. Let me do the calms. Let me do the calms. <laughs> just calm down. Yeah. Don't say. It. I don't want half line <laughs> because I will say the one that make only half line. <laughs> All right. All right. So is that the last thing you want to say before we go, Michael? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. Yep. Say something. Did I want. You, I want you, to hear Did you enjoy from being here today? Yes. Would you like to be here again? Uh, maybe. Well, I like it here. You like it here? Yes. Have you ever been to a media station before? No, this is my my second time because I like on Saturday I came here. Oh, okay, you came here. So this is like the first media house you've been to. How first. about you? Mm, I, think, I think first. I think I don't remember. Okay, you think you've been to one, but you don't I remember. I think I have a nice. I have lots of memories that I'd like to share. Oh, Please wow. do share them. Tell us. When I was five, or maybe four. I went to Dubai. Yeah. Ah. She went to do what? Dubai. Oh. And you loved it there. Yes, I saw camels and cute dolphins. Mm. Did you kiss them? No, but I, when I saw them, I asked if we brought up my swimming trunk because I wanted to swim on one. Okay. Oh. Did they allow you? No, but I got a dolphin balloon. Hmm. Do you have memories you want to share? No. Nope. Don't hurt them. No. No. Okay, you're talking about the show. No problem. Ah, nope. uh, this is where we wrap up this particular one. So, Michael, Iman, thank you for coming. We're gonna have the next set of beautiful, amazing kids. Don't go anywhere.
All right, certainly it's a day to serenade you with all the goodness in the world on today's um, breakfast show. You are welcome back, and we have another cute set of beauties right here on set with us. Um, and yes, to my left is the beautiful Osinachi, right? And of course, over there is Ebolua. Ebolua. How are you guys doing? Fine. <laughs> Ah, I'm getting the thumbs up. Okay. So you want to tell us the name of your school? Cherry Field. Leisure and Primary School. Okay. What class are you? Primary 5. All right. And what about you? Fontad International School. Are you going to have to speak up? Fontad International School. And what class are you? Grade 4. Okay. That's nice. So tell me, how do you feel today? Happy. Why? Why are you happy? Because it's Children's Day or because you've been promised a gift? Because it's Children's Day. Okay, so tell me what you like most about being a kid. Mm. Playing. <laughs> <laughs> Ebu, you're laughing. Do you also enjoy playing as a kid? Yeah. Um, yes, but um, I don't... I don't play a lot because I don't really have people to play with at home. Okay. So I I like watching movies or reading as so. well. Oh, movies. Okay, let's talk about <laughs> movies. What kind of movies do you like? I don't know how to specify anything. Which one is your favorite? I don't have a favorite. Which one did you watch last? Which one did I watch last? Um... I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that interesting. Lovely, but I don't remember. Uh -huh. so, so you don't remember most of the movies you watch or just I'm not time? allowed to watch TV during the weekdays. Oh. Ah. Okay. Mommy and Daddy rules. How how are you better with those rules? It's very sad. My life is <laughs> my life is boring. <laughs> <laughs> I can't understand. Because I don't have siblings. Oh. And I don't have neighbors my age. So I spend most of my time reading books and doing my homework. And then the one thing that brings you happiness, movies, you're not allowed to watch on weekdays. So I like you... books too. I like reading. What was the last book you read? I'm still reading it. It's called um, um, The Looking Glass Girl. Okay. That's not a small book. I know. Ah, you wanna be, you wanna be old so quick. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> no, but sadly, I've already put that reputation on many people. They call me old. Oh, oh. Wow. I see. Have you talked to your parents about it? That some people. My parents call me old from their you know, from their genes. I got gray hair. That's not true. Let, let me see. Yes, you should oh see. Oh my word! You should see my. You should see my parents' heads. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so what about you, Sinachi? What do you do with your time when you are not playing? Uh, I watch YouTube. YouTube. Watch YouTube yeah. What are the things you watch on YouTube? Mm, my story animated and. Yeah, that's all. So, what's like your favorite favorite item, cartoon? Mm, anime. Anything yeah. anime. Yeah. Anime. I don't. I don't watch anime. You don't watch it. You don't watch anime. Why? Mm -hmm. You find them to be childish. I barely ever watch um cartoons like at all. Yeah, because you think they're meant for kids, eh? No. You just can't relate I just to don't find them interesting. Oh. Including trolls? Trolls. Pocahontas? Uh, All of them? <laughs> you don't find them interesting? I haven't watched an animated movie or something in a very long time. Mm. Wow. How often do you watch? Anytime I get the chance to. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes internet's not working like once a week. Oh, so they block your internet. 
I mean, it, it's it's good. It it just keeps your screen time in check, mm. basically. So, so if, you have do you have long screen time? No, not at all. How many hours? As much as I can squeeze in on the weekends. Oh. Okay. So if you can squeeze in only one hour, that's all you will get for the weekend. Oh my God. You must be hurting. The Lord heal you. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, your parents will be watching. What would you like to tell them? My parents aren't watching, but please give me more screen time. Oh my God! <laughs> so, so your teachers are going to be watching. And they will tell your parents that they will communicate it in the in the memo. Amen. Uh, <laughs> why do you say your friends are not going to be watching? Mm. Are they around? No. My mom's busy. She's at work. And my dad as well. Uh, but they have a phone. And you can watch it from anywhere. In the world. My mom is a teacher. She's a lecturer. She's oh. probably in class. So my dad Oh, okay. is probably busy attending to a broken door or something. Oh. A broken door? Yeah, he's helping my aunt in her restaurant, so he does a lot of all the work, and he just he likes working a lot. He likes working a lot. So, do you want to be a lecturer like your mom? No. Or I... a broken door attendee? <laughs> I haven't completely decided, but I'm thinking about two completely different things: either law or architecture. Hmm. Okay. Those are serious things. Why do you why are you considering law architecture? I like law because people tell me I'm a talkative, and I I want to use that to help people. Okay. Plus helping people settle cases it's very it's one of my strong points, and then architecture interests me. It just interests me. I just like it. So you're gonna help me solve my own case. Actually. <laughs> I have make sure you charge case. out. Make sure you charge out your service fee. Yeah. But I have a very serious case that needs to be attended to. What's the case? <laughs> I don't like that you don't have much screen time. That's my case. I don't like it either. We really need to attend to that case. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, what about you, Osi? What do you want to be when you grow up? An artist. Oh. Give it to me. What so kind of like artist? Arts. <laughs> Any. Any more available. Okay. Oh, okay, so, so when we say an artist, artist like are we talking about music, music like artist painting. or... Painting. 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 Okay. For a side hustle in the future, I'd like acting. My parents tell me I'm really good at it. Mm. Are you considering a side hustle? No. Ah, ah. Artist or not? <laughs> <laughs> Artist. Or. Baby girl life. Artist. <laughs> Do you know what baby girl life is? You relax and you enjoy. You don't have to work. Where would the money be coming from? Ah. I'll the, also ask that question. The law will provide. Okay. The law will provide. So, <laughs> Abel, I have a little there for you. Uh, there. Okay. Yeah. I think that you can actually spell three words in like 15 seconds. Are you up for the challenge? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, so spell the word request. R E Q U E S T. Request. Okay, uh -huh. spell the word banking. B A N K I N G. Banking. Spell the word airport. 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 A I R P O R T E. See? I knew you could do it. Okay, that's a wrap. <laughs> so we're going to have the next set of kids come on set. Mm -hmm. And three lost, a bit older. And this particular one, you're definitely going to have fun anyway. So much fun. We're going to go on a short music break. And we're going to have our music break for right about now. a day packed with a lot of excitement and 
Beautiful events. My name is Hugo. Cynthia Agua still here in the studio, and we're joined by these two beautiful ladies. Hello, ladies. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't think you're a lady yet? No. Oh, so, what do you think you are? A child. Do you agree? Mm. Are you still a child? Yes. <laughs> How old are you? Ten. Ten. Ah, oh, you're very much a child. Okay. A lady child. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, how are you? How old are you? Seven. Okay. Mm, you'll soon become a lady child mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> so, what's your name? My name is Machimeme Mbolu Jessica. Okay, so I'm just going to call you Jess. You like that? Yes. All right. What about you? My name is Chizam Michelle Madu. Okay, so I'm going to call you Michelle. Is that okay? Mitch, Mitch. <laughs> Mitch, Mitch. Oh, Mitch, Mitch. Uh, uh, you're not smiling very well now. Mitch, Mitch. Mitch. Oh, Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. She's definitely got a beautiful <laughs> smile. And yours, yours is a bit mysterious. <laughs> so tell me, Jess. Tell me. What do you like most about being a kid? Um, I like what well, I like watching TV mm -hmm. and playing with my toys at home. Wow, okay. Mm. That's all? Yes. All right. You don't like school? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what class are you, by the way? I'm in primary three. Okay, so what about you, Mish? Year six. Okay, okay. and you like school? Yes. Are you Ooh. sure? Are you sure you like school because your teacher is watching? Are you sure? Yeah. You can confide in me, just say it. You like school. Mm. Wow, so see? what That's are your good. favorite subjects? History. Oh! History! Give wow, mm. so you know your history. <laughs> Do you want me to test you on that? Yes. What year did Nigeria gain independence? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on! We sing it every day. On first October. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nigeria gay. Eh? 1916. Yeah! 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 So you see, come on, don't disappoint me. We are history people. Yeah. All right. So ask another history question. Let me see. Uh... Now, this one is not really history. Who was the president before President Bola Tinobu? Buhari. Uh, uh, is he your brother? <laughs> <laughs> Buhari. <laughs> Did he offend you? <laughs> Mohammed. So, Mohammed. Mohammed who? Um, don't remember. Wow. Uh, it, it's, okay, Mohammed Buhari. But then I can understand because history... It's not your favorite subject. Yes. No, but she got it, Buhari. Yeah, yes. that's correct. So, which one is your favorite subject? Math. Okay, I'm I'm gonna shift now. So, <laughs> should we do a little exercise? Like time, like twelve times table. Oh, you like? Okay, okay, let's do that. What's two multiplied by two? Huh? Oh, let's do it this way. Two times one. Two. Two times two. Four. Two times three. Six. Two times four. Eight, two times five, ten, two times six, twelve, two times seven, fourteen, two times eight, sixteen, two times nine, eighteen, two times ten, twenty, mm, two times eleven, twenty-two, two times twelve, twenty-four, two times what else again? Thirteen. Thirteen. <laughs> you have tried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that... Twelve times twelve. What's oh, it? Oh, yeah, 44. Oh, yeah, that is correct. And 12 times 6 is 72. Lovely. What's 10 times 10? Mm, 10 times 10 is 100. Mm. That's... You look like you're going to like money very well. <laughs> you know how to calculate money. She really money. likes her arithmetic. Nobody's going to cheat you at all, at all. So yours is history, has is mathematics. mathematics. What do you want to be when you grow up? Teacher. Mm. A teacher. I mean, for someone who likes math. They say teachers be what is in heaven. Mm. But why though? Why do you want to be a teacher? So I can teach children and they learn and grow up to be a teacher too. 
Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. How about you? An interior designer. Mm. You got game. But how do you want to do, how do you love history? Mm -hmm. I want to go into interior design. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <laughs> don't worry. You will figure it out as you grow. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much, Mitchell and Jessica, for mm -hmm. having this beautiful chat with us. We're not going. We're not going at all because we still have um, the cutting of the cake. Um, so you're going to join us anywhere you're watching us from, from your houses, from your office, on the road, in the bus, in the car, anywhere you're watching us from. We're going to be cutting our Children's Day cake mm -hmm. right here on the show. And all of the kids that are in this building are going to be coming out, including myself. I'm also a child. I'm going to be coming mm -hmm. out. Uh, yes. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> do you have a problem with that? I'm also a child. So we're going to be coming out right now to cut our children's day cake don't go anywhere this is a time where we get to play diamond by the kids and uh, when we, you're gonna see us come back with our cake while diamond is playing So it's our children's day cake is right here and we have all of the beautiful kids right here in the studio with us. Um, so we're going to be spelling the cake using what? No. Children. 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 So we all can spell children, right? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. One, two, go. C H R L D R E N. Children. <laughs> oh yeah, clap for yourself. <laughs> and make sure you Hello, hello everybody. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. And make sure you don't leave without having a taste of this amazing I Oh my god. You, Yo, okay, you, how does it taste? Nice. So what will you say to Rapid TV? Thanks for being awesome. And what? Happy Children's Day. You don't love us? And what do you tell the audience? Keep watching Rapid TV. Keep watching Rapid TV. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. all right you're welcome back and just in case you thought that you've seen the finest on this set sorry to disappoint you we have even more finer people right here in the studio hello my darling how are you fine thank you oh did you hear that fine thank you ah. and of course <laughs> oh, <it ends. laughs> and of course we have um what's your name my darling it's Naki. oh see okay. your darling ship ended here Really? This is my boundary. <laughs> Don't do your darling and reach here. Darling, it's over here. Stop this darling here. Oh my yeah. goodness. My love, my mm. darling, how are you? Fine. Oh, sim sim. Is sim 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 sim? <laughs> ah, sim sim sim. Does your mommy call you sim sim sim? No. What does she call you? Sinaj. Sinaj. Yeah, that's that's more to It's my own, not sweeter. Oh, sim. Oh, sim, sim, sim. She's never going to agree to that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what are the things you love, Osim? I, I like running. Okay, I like, healthy. I like dancing. Ooh, okay. We're going to boogie it one day. Okay. And what else? That's all. Running, dancing. You must really love to keep fit. Because these are two things that help a person keep fit. Absolutely. Mm. Mm. Do you want to be a fitness person? Yes. Mm. Now okay. I see. What's so, your side hustle? What do you mean by side hustle? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if fitness doesn't work out, what else would you like to do? I like to 
play video games. <laughs> For a living? Yeah. Okay. You don't play video games and make money. Yep. That that would tell me to carry abroad. For Nigeria, if you play video games, you're not gonna make money. <laughs> It is so, for pleasure. What about you, Nico? What do me, you like? Me, I like like I like sports. I like dancing. I like playing with other people and making friends. Oh wow! Playing with other people. Hmm. You have siblings? Yeah. Oh, I see. So if your siblings want to play with you, how are you gonna feel? Very excited. You feel excited? If they don't play with you? Hmm? No. If they don't play with me, I'll not. Feel You'll feel be good. sad. So, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. A doctor. You like to see blood. I like to help people to mm. live and to bring them back to life. Hmm. Oh, that's so, cool. what if you want to change that? What would that? What would be your second option be? My second option would be. I'll still be interested in medicine. I'll not give up. Ah, I like the spirit. I like ah, the energy. You are strong, girl. <laughs> you are strong, doctor. So, ah. Nicole, you said you like making friends. Yeah. Who is your best friend? My best friend. Do Fatima. you have a best friend? Yes. Fatima. Yes. Why do you? Why do you like Fatima? Why is Fatima your best friend? Because when something happens and she wants, like she. she she always feels sorry for it and she always make up to us is right. Oh, so she's kind. Yes. All right. So I'm kind too. And a, I want a, I want to be your trait, best friend. A trait that you don't find in a lot of adults and Fatima has it and she's in your class. Yes. Mm. Mm. Good upbringing. Very good upbringing. Thank you. Mm. Very good. How about you? You have a best friend? Yes. Who's your best friend? Fadila. Fafa. Fadila. Is she in your class? Um, no, but she used to be. What oh. do you like about Fadila? When, um, when, um, when someone is feeling sad, right, she'll, she'll help that person up. Oh. oh. Okay, you guys like kind people. Okay. I mean, it takes a kind person to attract a kind person. Mm -hmm. So, I want to take it that you both are warm and receptive, thereby attracting the right kind of people. Isn't it? Yes. So let's now go straight to this part. Between your mom and your dad, who do you prefer? Tino. Your mom and your dad. Who is your favorite? My mom. Why? Because if anything happens, like in school, she'll always take care of me, no matter if I'm not with her. She'll always ask me what happens in school and how I do my stuff in school. Oh. And she always teaches me what to do best in school. Hmm. How about you? My mom. Why? <laughs> um, because she does fun stuff. Oh, <laughs> oh she's that fun, mama! <laughs> like, you guys go and boogie down in a party, or which, which type of fun stuff? Like, going to water parks, playgrounds, and all that. Oh. Ha! Going to water parks. So, they like the good life. What What would be your children's day wish? If you, if your, if your mom could do anything for you today, what would you want her to do for you? Travel out. To where? Canada. <laughs> Canada. 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 Oh my God! So, what about do you, you know Nicole? That song? Also, me. I only want traveling to abroad. Canada too. Oh, okay. The other, the, the other kids said they wanted to go to Dubai. No, no, no. She said uh, she has been to Dubai. It was America. Yeah, she America. To, go to, to the US. Okay, both of you, Canada. I wish but we had I that have song, a better Canada. Option. <laughs> I have a better option. Sinach and mm -hmm. Nicole. How okay. about I take you to Afugiri? What, what, what is that? <laughs> Just, I want you to, you know, I want you to, what you just heard now, I want you to delete it. Eh? Just delete it from your mind, okay? Listen, that you didn't hear it. It's actually as beautiful as Canada. Mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't believe you. Oh and my I'm happy God. that she doesn't believe you. So, my love, you guys should, I'm happy you want to go to Canada and mom is going to take you to Canada. Hmm? Make sure she, no, no, in fact, don't pressure her. 
okay don't pressure your mom or your dad just pray about it mm -hmm. and you say work out yes. mm? okay yes. you believe yes. you believe yes. you just say your tiny little prayer to god and he's just gonna pick up the phone and he's gonna respond yes. you believe yeah mm -hmm. Good. Do I get a high five too? <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's a rapid done. I know taking so much time, but mm -hmm. I mean, these kids. We Anything have to, for our kids today. We need to enjoy them. We need to enjoy them because it's it, it's it's a long time you were kids. And one thing as you go, don't rush to grow up. Don't rush. Take your time. Eh? Don't rush. Mm? Enjoy being a child, and we'll be right back. All right, and to bring us to a close today, the last but definitely not the list of beauties that we're bringing on the screen today. Yeah, like I like this one to my left. Uh, <laughs> what's your name? My name is Jimmy Cho. Okay, and over there is. Insika. Beautiful names. Jimmy Do you know what your name means? <coughs> Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Enugu. Oh, you're from Enugu. Okay, so what class are you? I'm in year five. Oh, nice. What's the name of your school? Star Tri Schools. Ah, oh, Star Tri. Inseka. Yeah? Inseka. The famous Inseka. <laughs> 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 Alright, so what is one thing that interests you in Seka? Let's hear it. Hmm. Football. Uh -uh. Football, archery, basketball, different type of sports. So sports interest you. Yes. So if you're not thinking <coughs> sports, what else are you thinking about? I don't know, like fashion designs. I can design anything. Like I can even design a house anyhow you like it. Oh, really? Can you design a house for me? Yes. Not not Cinderella kind of house. Okay, like modern type. Yeah, <coughs> yeah. You can do it. Okay, your beds are beautiful. You make them. Yeah. You like making oh, beds. Yes. I, I actually have one of her beds actually. That's but beautiful. But it's not here with me today. Ah, if I know she's not. I brought to... I brought the beads that downstairs with my mom. You brought to dash dash me. No, I don't know why, but my mom that does ask said I should bring them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so your mom about... is a wise woman. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Jimmy? So what, what, what interests you? What do you like? Football, mm. video games. I think that's all. Well, I do like football too. So let's talk football. Who's your favorite football player? Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> the same thing as me. <laughs> Cristiano Ronaldo. That's a uh, shoe, yeah? yeah? Can you do the celebration? Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Sinzu. <laughs> what about your favorite football team? Liverpool. Why? I like the way they play. Mm -hmm. I think they have that. Too. So, if I ask you, like, <laughs> Three players in Liverpool. Can you tell me? Um, okay, let's go. Mohamed Salah. Uh huh. Luis Diaz. Uh huh. Alisson. Oh, impressive! <laughs> you, what's your favorite club? I think it's got. Al Nassau. No way! Because really? of Ronaldo. I mean, it's so just because I love the way they play. Like they have good strategies. Really? Mm. So, would you have been supporting now, sorry, if Ronaldo wasn't playing for them? Yep, I'll still be supporting. But, but you know, lots of people didn't know about the Saudi League before Ronaldo went mm. there. I know, because mm -hmm. I knew about Al a long time ago. Really? I was even surprised that Cristiano Ronaldo transferred to Saudi Arabian team. Wow. Why were you surprised? I was in surprise. Okay, you were. Oh, okay, you were in surprise. Oh. Okay, that's good. So, what the people you you like there? Uh huh. Mm, okay, yeah. <clears throat> it's with the um U thirteen Pro League. So U thirteen Pro League. His son, mm -hmm. his friends Nawaf, 
Nikki and one other one like that, but I can't remember his name. Well, you actually do follow Ronaldo a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not following Ronaldo. She's following the league, the Saudi. She likes the Saudi. So even if Ronaldo leaves, you will still like the, the, the Saudi, yes. right? Cool. So one day I'm hoping to join. To join them? Mm-hmm. You want to play football? Yes. Write wow. your vision. Make it play. So do you... Does that mean you think Ronaldo is a better player than Messi? Yes. It's like a lie. He's literally he's he's the goal. Shot knock He's the goal. He's the I'm, sure, I'm sure he's not going to agree. Is no, that no, true? No. Messi or Ronaldo? In some cases, Ronaldo is better. In, in some, some cases, which cases? Is better. Like, in goals, mm-hmm. Ronaldo has won. What, what, like what, what about assists? Messi. What about free kicks? Ronaldo. What about trophies? Ronaldo. Free kicks. He has. Ronaldo has a lot of free kicks. Mm-hmm. Like he has a lot. What about trophies? He has, he has a, lot. a lot. It's only Messi that has won one type of trophy like that. Messi won the World Cup. Ronaldo yes. hasn't won the World Cup. Uh, uh, no, Messi won the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Not be- not just him alone. I mean, was just with a team. Come well, on. Well, he's a World Cup he winner. Didn't, he didn't. He didn't. He <laughs> alone didn't carry the World Cup. He didn't. Ca- didn't carry Barcelona for the, for the World Cup. So. So two of you are Ronaldo fans. Yes. I mean, I mean, sorry, it's three. Wow. So I'm just alone here. <laughs> you never walk alone. <laughs> join the winning team. Okay. Winning so team. apart from football and video games, what else do you do with your time, Jumaita? Read. Hmm. Or like. I think reading is so. So what do you read about? Books. What kind of books? Adventure books. Ah. <clears throat> What's your screen time like? Not much. Ah, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so so you get to you know you get to curtail the things you watch and when you watch them. Mm. So your your parents give you how many hours? A day like four hours a day a weekday or over the weekend a day like a weekday really okay. so after school you have four hours to your phone mm. so after the four hours the next day another four hours mm-hmm. hmm. that's generous how about you hmm. <clears throat> it's only on weekdays like friday to sunday but since today is children's day, my dad left the phone with me because today is the week. So after the weekend, he takes my phone. He says in the weekend because I'm not, um, I've not finished writing my exam mm-hmm. and I just recently finished on Friday, so I'm okay now. So, but on a normal day, you don't have any phone from Friday to Thursday. Sometimes I do. To do what with it? <clears throat> At times, I just watch MSC, like when I'm bored, I've done all my assignments and mm-hmm. stuff. Or uh, if not my phone, I do science experiments or read science books. Oh. Mm, okay, that's okay. good. That's Lovely. good. <laughs> Very good. So, what is that thing that you look forward to having that you don't have right now? Mm, I'll say if you are headset. A what? A VR headset. Oh, for your video games. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he was very specific. Yeah. How about you? Hmm. Um, what? I I just want to join Al Nasser. A girl with a dream. I love it. <laughs> I have a dream that one day you this, will join Al Nasser. is going to play for Al Nasser. He so, has a dream as well. Do you know about Ashisha Roshola? Hmm? Ashisha Roshola. Isn't he the one that authorized the Anasa thing? No, no, that no, no. is Azizat Oshola. The Africa's best women player of the year. No, I don't know about her. Don't so you don't watch women's football? No. Oh. It's too bad. <laughs> 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 What do you mean by bad? Like you know they what? don't play well? Yes. Oh yes. my goodness. They don't well, play well? Yes, they don't play well. Why do you say that? If you watch the women league and you compare it to the men league, mm. you obviously see the difference. Like, if you watch the men's like football league for one week and you watch the women's on for one week, you see the difference. So you say that um, you're not gonna watch the Seikak when she plays. Mm? 
I say, you know, you, you won't watch in Sika when she start playing. You won't watch her. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Unless women's football can get a bit better. Oh. Well. But I'm not actually going to join a, a woman. It's, it's all boys and girls team. Okay, that is a mixed thing. Yes, it's Boys a mixed thing. Okay, okay. Oh, but, but you know, eventually, they're <coughs> never going to allow men and women yes, to play against separate. each other. And, as time goes on, you both are going to be separate. So which wing do you play, by the way? Hmm? Which wing do you play? Oh, I think... <coughs> Defender. Really? I would have thought you wanted to be a striker. You know, score the goals. At times, they push me to be the striker. You don't That's want to be the striker? Want... I want to be the striker, but at times I just leave it to my friends because I don't want them to feel like I don't want I don't want to overshadow them oh. so that they won't feel you know some type of way. Yes, yeah, some type mm. of way. So that's why I leave them when, but they understand that what I'm doing is for them. Mm. So they say I should be the striker, hmm. oh. and whenever I take ceremony shots, that always the happiest. Ah. Yeah okay nice. all right so before we wrap up we're gonna say a special thank you to some of the people that have you know showed us some children's day love uh we have uh popsicles mm -hmm. we have sweeties jesse pops mm -hmm. and angie's, angie's as well. thank you so much <laughs> <laughs> and i'm definitely sure the kids are gonna love everything mm -hmm. that we have for them this beautiful morning right here in the studio for me i can't wait to taste the cake all the people are saying I'm not saying it. It's just the cake I'm saying. All right, so do you have any last words, Jamaica, before we go? No. No. About you? No. No? You don't have any message for your daddy? No. <laughs> Say it now. Or forever remain silent. What is that one thing you want your parents to give you, apart from the VR headset? Nothing. So you're happy, everything's good? Mmm. Mmm. God Same went. Thing me. Uh, uh? Same thing for me. Good. <coughs> All right. They so. don't have a list. They are good. We're good. But my last word to you: remain a child. <laughs> don't grow up. <laughs> so don't grow up. <laughs> I guess this is where we have to run. I mm, guess. Yes. No, but 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 the Children's Day continues. Mm -hmm. Okay. But not necessarily with the morning show. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have the Children's Day continue. And also, beautifully, you might just have a kid reading the news by 12. You never could tell. And we might decide to even extend it to 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. The kids reading the news by 8 o'clock. You never could tell. So just keep your fingers crossed. You might just see amazing kids right here doing some of the things that you would expect us to do on the show, uh, uh, you know, right here on um, at the studio. And they would just be dishing out these things for you i mean i think it's a way for you to really know what your kids like and what mm -hmm. they want to do and exactly. say, oh I, I see you're doing beautifully well mm -hmm. uh in the studio i think you're gonna you want to be a media person and you encourage the person but then whichever way it goes try as much as possible to support <coughs> your kids in whatever it is that they say they want to do because some of these career paths that you think are not were not a thing before mm -hmm. are actually the main things right now i mean yeah. football is big business it's like oil mo more than oil money like oil money <laughs> or or the b money yeah. um uh, music money is also something else content creation money is also another thing um so you never can tell what are the things you look down in those days are actually making it really really big nowadays so in everything you do try as much as possible to encourage your kids and um make them feel accepted and welcome and special because it's children's day try to take your kids out don't say you're too busy mm -hmm. show them some love show yes. them some love and in everything you do try to tell your kids i love you always reassure them that you love them and they will always feel loved anywhere they go to uh, my name is cynthia Agbo. don't forget you can follow us on all of our social media platforms on facebook instagram subscribe to our youtube channel our website on www.arianradiotv.com gochuku mademir is my name happy children's day to us happy children's day
My name is Akio Sakiodoa. Hey guys, this is Anto Leki. My name is Leo Bliss. My name is Akavago by the name Baba D. And you're tuned into Rapid TV. And I love Rapid TV. Shut us. Rapid TV. Thank you, Rapid TV. Please keep watching Rapid TV. This is Rapid TV. Rapid. Rapid TV. Keep watching. Keep it. 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 Ke